so you're probably wondering how did I get my background to look so epic? Well, in this episode I'm basically going to slow down everything that I did in order to create this background so let's head into Photoshop and I'll show you the basics. So this is the base of the design, this is everything that makes it look absolutely amazing. The font that I used was Unisans and I'm going to leave that in the description just so you can download it and I basically put a quote that really resonates with me inside and that quote is a designer knows he has achieved perfection when there's nothing left to add. Not when there's nothing left to add but when there's nothing left to take away. I think that really stands with me extremely in a way that I can understand. So I live by that motto so that's why I put it there. Um, I basically put Welcome to Swerve Studios as a theme. There's no particular reason why I used it, it just looked pretty sick. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Yeah, and at the top I basically used um, the shape tools to create the, the backdrop behind the apps. So if you look here, you'll probably see that there's a backdrop and I also added a little highlights at the top using the brush tool right here. So I basically created a new layer, um, made it white and I scaled it down to a really small size and I basically did that. And I went over here, did a little overlay and minimized it. You know what I mean? Um, so it's pretty simple just to create this whole design and if you want to get nice backgrounds an amazing place to go would be to go to Ultralinks. Ultralinks is absolutely amazing. You you won't regret getting their backgrounds. <laughs> like I, f I found their website and I instantly fell in love with it. So if you want to get any backgrounds I'm going to put some in the folder that I'm going to give you but if you want to check some more they upload their photos on a regular basis so don't miss out trust me it's worth it so now that we've got the backgrounds down to grips let me show you how I did the rest so now that we're looking at it you're probably thinking straight away how did I get rid of the text below the app well the thing is absolutely pretty simple trust me so what you need to do is let's say go to your search bar at the bottom and you want to open character map all right once you've opened character map there is such thing as an invisible font so that's basically what i placed in in replacement of the actual text so let me see where to find it you just scroll down till you see, till you see an empty box so don't select the ones down here, select the ones around about here and what you can do is basically select that one and copy. So once you do that, I'm going to make, um, let me put Google Chrome up here for a second just to explain everything that went into it. So you just basically select that area and what you do is paste. And once you do that, the text is absolutely gone and it looks pretty amazing by itself. So I can put that on the side like this and just stack some icons. Icons I mean. Um, let me put that back to normal quickly and put that back. <clears throat> um, one important thing that you need to do is make sure that your um, view is not set to align to grids or auto arrange the icons because that will really mess up the whole process of making it look custom because the icons will um, be held in a constriction that is not it, it just doesn't work with the design if you get what I mean um, yeah so that's basically that bit um, the next bit was the icons and this is the bit that makes the design pop. You know, 
um, I've also left these folder icons and these um, icons over here in the folder that I've given you in the description and yeah I'm gonna show you how to install these um, icons to your files and you can probably find more on this website here I forgot what it was called but if you search um, folder icons or folder icons ICO <clears throat> ICO is the actual file and if you select here easy icon I think that's the one sorry about that my internet is absolutely slow at the moment yeah so you basically search at the top um, what icon you want so if I was to get a um, let's say um, Photoshop icon I would get the icon oh I really like that one alright so I'm gonna use an icon quickly just to give you an example of how to you know install your icons onto your icons if that made any sense <laughs> um, yeah so I've downloaded that I think I'm gonna get more of these these look absolutely amazing I would recommend getting the biggest the biggest icons and yeah that one's done so I'm gonna open it up um, what I'm going to do is place this in my documents or you can place your icons wherever you want um, and then another important thing would be to remember where you place your icons and make sure it's always in a cons consistent place because if you move those icons um, the change that you made will just be changed back to the default so I'm gonna save mine here and what I'm going to do is go to my Photoshop icon and what you want to do is right click it make sure you go to properties and change icon what you can do here is go to browse and open once you've done that just press OK and OK and instantly the icon would change to the icon in your folder and that's basically how I change the folder icons and everything else lastly what we have last is these widgets right here and over here this plus sign is another icon as well so it just opens up a new folder and that's about it so let's talk about these widgets how did I get around making these? Um, I didn't make them. I basically downloaded an app called Rainmeter. Rainmeter is absolutely amazing. What you can do is go to DeviantArt. And once you go to DeviantArt, have you seen their logo? It looks pretty incredible. Um, yeah, I give them props for that. Um, yeah. So when you go to DeviantArt, what you do is type in Rainmeter. And once you open Rainmeter, they have so many skins that you can use. Um, you can get ones like this. It looks crazy. Um, we've got ones like this, some Halo kind of thing going on. You can, there's so many things you can do with this. And all you need to do is once you find the one that you like you basically go to the top corner over here and click download and it will download and what you do is basically go to your rain meter and you open rain meter so I'm gonna show you the link to rain meter quickly This is Rainmeter. All you need to do is download Rainmeter and everything will set up itself. So if you want to get rid of it, you just right click and go to unload skin. And if you want to load the skin, all you need to do is get your skin and drag it into the skins panel and it will instantly appear on your desktop. It's pretty much simple. 
So what I went and did was get a skin that involved um, the clock. And I put that up here and I basically put this widget for Google down here. So if I search in here, let's say um, Swerve. It will open up in Google and Swerve will come up. Yeah, so that's about it for this Slow Mo Monday. Um, I really hope to show you how to make a logo in the next Slow Mo Monday, so check out for that. And I'll see you in another video.